Welcome to day 90 of 100 day no PMO challenge and this is no orgasm mastery. As it happened again I had a sixth wet dream uh, last night. Actually this morning uh, I looked at the clock, it was 6 o'clock and I, I was supposed to wake up at 7 and I didn't really know that I'm gonna like fall asleep again so tightly and have a wet dream but yeah so it happened again. We may think is this a joke it's supposed to be no orgasm mastery and this guy is having like wet dream every other day but uh, yeah I'm not one of those guys who pretend to be you know perfect and just a shining example and hide things behind the curtains but I just show you like my struggles and what I go through everything um, so yeah um, how do I feel right now I feel uh, uh, actually after that like in the morning I felt pretty like no drive to to like keep get going and like it's not like depressed but it's like it's like no motivation to do things it's just like you just wanna like just wanna do nothing basically you just don't wanna start a day you just wanna like keep sleeping whatever and just feel kind of empty so you just feel like you lost something uh, from inside you, which is true, you lost your semen. And, um, yeah, it's just a weird feeling. It's just a little bit like sluggish and uh, groggy, uh, like down. And it's just not the same as when you, when you don't ejaculate, you know. It's definitely less motivation. And uh, it could be psychological as well, like that you feel like you failed or whatever that you uh, you know you failed your no orgasm challenge basically but I don't think it's failed because it's involuntary and whereas you might feel these negative effects like you get I, I noticed that only like after one or two days you back to normal whereas if you like ejaculate it like uh, normally it would take up to like two weeks you know to get back to normal so it's definitely not the same as uh, ejaculating during uh, sex or even during the or yeah, even during sex or watching porn or something. Um, so don't be discouraged if you get a wet dream, and definitely don't go back to porn like I said before, or don't start masturbating or or orgasming during sex. So just try to try to keep on track. Again, the dream that I was dreaming was kind of related to this school that I'm teaching at and the subconscious stress showed up again. So the dream was that I was, I was taking uh, the children somewhere to play uh, hockey, um, floor hockey and, uh, and I didn't have like, a, I forgot the, like a tennis ball so I went, to, I went to take it in the little locker room and I was there. Um, and I was looking for it. I think there are some other people in the locker room and uh, all the balls were kind of destroyed for some reason um, And um, yeah, I took one destroyed ball and I went back to the field and then I remember that I know some other place where there are like uh, better balls So I went out again and I was like checking out time and it was like already like really late into the class, you know and I was like subconsciously stressed that what are they doing if there is somebody seeing them without teacher and stuff and uh, so yeah I was in the locker room and that was the time when I got stressed about the time and I ejaculated so it goes to show again this subconscious stress that you have it's not necessarily like the last dream before it was not necessarily um, like a sexual dream it was just like a subconscious stress and mainly it's like the, the restriction of time that you you feel like you don't have enough time you know um, and it re happened in real life twice again uh, or when I was young when I was scared or like uh, pressured by the time that I, everyone else left and I was there by myself and uh, I had those orgasms or when I was at the airport and we are really close miss, to missing flight and we actually missed that flight and yeah so the tension of not making it on time it's still there even here you know um, 
so we're that's the society we live in we're like this is the time where you have to be somewhere and uh just everything is set by time you know like all your life you wake up at some time you have to go to work at some time you have a classes at some time you finish the work at some time then you then you want to have dinner at some time and then <clears throat> and then you go sleep at some time so uh, everything is in your life is set by some time and if you don't if you don't um get there in time you kind of feel like pressured you know especially important things like making to work on time and things like that and it's every day like five days out of the week you have to make you have to get somewhere on time which is insane amount of pressure when you think about it so lots of things i think have to do with how society is run and and uh, people have this subconscious stress even those who who say like yeah i don't care about the time like yeah tell me twice like anyone who is working in 9 to 5 cares about the time you know because they have to be at work at some time so don't tell me this bullshit that you don't care about time when you go to work so yeah the only reason is to be self-sufficient the only get away from this is to be self-sufficient and erase this subconscious fear of not making it somewhere on time and the dream before was also like being scared of authority like the police your boss you know so th th those are the two biggest fears you're being scared of authorities and not making it somewhere on time so who knows what's gonna be my next subconscious dream uh, but i think these are two biggest that can influence anyone's mind you know but I, I guess there are people have more subconscious fears but I, I think the, in today's society like every day the, these are the two biggest fears that, uh, that people are living by if you if uh, most people are working 9 to 5 that's how they keep us basically enslaved so yeah <clears throat> it's it's uh, also good for these wet dreams to explore like what what to so pay attention to your dreams, you know, because what your dreams is basically your subconscious mind. And you should pay attention even if the dream sounds really weird. It's just exaggeration what you think already. So if you're dreaming something like you're going like, uh, you're crashing uh, in, a, in a traffic, maybe you, you're scared of traffic and you shouldn't drive so fast or you should avoid the traffic, you know, things like that. So I hope this video helps. And I'll, this is day 90 and I'll see you in the next episode.